In this video, I am going to show you how to make a poster in PowerPoint and this is exactly what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. So if you like what you have seen and want to design something like this, keep watching. Having opened PowerPoint, next thing I do is get rid of the text boxes here. So I go over to layout and I'm going to go ahead and choose blank. With that out of the way, next I go over to design, I choose slash size custom slash size under slash size 4 i'm going to go ahead and choose a4 and i'll make it portrait click on ok maximize now i have my a4 canvas the next thing i'm going to do is insert a circle so i go over to insert shapes under basic shapes i select over and i'm going to go ahead and draw the circle here to get a perfect circle i need to hold down shift key on the keyboard and this will give me a perfect circle i want to place it here i will make it a little bit bigger still holding down shift and i think this match will do next i insert another circle holding down shift key i draw the circle here i want a bit of it to cut the first circle and a bit to go outside the canvas and this is how it will appear in real time. Okay, I think this match will do. What I want to do is create another circle inside this one. So what I do is I go over to home, copy, paste. I make sure I place it on the first one very well. Hold it down, control plus shift keys. I drag it inside, then I release the mouse. Perfect. Now it's time to add colors to our shape and the big one right here. I go over to shape fill and I'm going to go ahead and choose this blue. Next, I select the second circle that is the outer one right here. Shape fill is going to be white and then the outline. I need a particular color to get the exact colors. I want to pick it from my logo. So what I do is go ahead and insert a logo. So I go over to insert pictures, this device. I have the logo here, select it, then I click on insert. It is inserted, I reposition it like here. Reduce the size. I'm actually looking at the position from here. So this is how it will be placed. So I select back this circle. Then I go over to shape format, shape outline. I click on this eyedropper. Then I click on the color I want to use as the outline. You see that it's not all that visible. What I can do is increase the weight to this. And I want the shape to fall behind this bigger circle. It's still selected. So I go over to send back out. Awesome next i select this shape first of all i don't need the outline and i'm going to go ahead and fill it with a picture from a file i have the picture here select it then i click on insert you see that the picture is kind of squeezed so what i can do is i go over to picture tools then i click on picture format i drop down the arrow and the crop then i click on fill and this is how it will come. This is the normal image. So I'll now reposition it so that the portion I want to appear will fit very well like this. I click back on the crop icon to take effect. Awesome. Next, I want to insert some text. I go over to insert text box. I draw the first one here and I enter company name in capital letters. You can either make it in one line or two lines, whichever way you want it. I want mine to be in two lines. So I leave it as it is. I can reposition it like this. You can use whatever font you want under font. I'm going to make mine bold. Then I change the color to white. Next, I add text box again. I draw it right here. Then I enter join our team i'll increase the size i think 54 will do 
I'll make it bold and I'm going to go ahead and apply a shadow. I'll open it so that it will appear in two lines. I want it to be in line with the logo so I can move it a bit with my arrow keys. I think this is cool. I'll change the color to white. I'll also move it up a bit like so. I need another text box here. What I can do, I can easily duplicate this one. Copy, paste. I drag it in here. I can open it a bit. I take it off. Then I make it in number form. Okay. Hit enter. All right, these are the various portfolios I want to enter and make sure it go up like this. Then this match will do and it should also be in line with the first text. I can also duplicate this text box, select it, copy, paste. I bring it down here. I'll change the color to black. I'm going to change the numbering to bullets so i'll take all this off and i begin to enter hit enter M maybe i can bring this down also open this so that it will fit very well like this all right hit enter next i'm going to insert a rectangular shape like this I don't need the outline the shape feel I'm going to use the same blue going back to insert I'll insert another shape I'll use this one maybe like this the shape feel is going to be this yellow I don't need the outline and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it and I flip it horizontal. Perfect. I actually want this to have the blue color. So I go back to shift format. I choose this then I select this one and change it to the yellow color. Next, I add my contact information here. I will just duplicate this one. Go to home, copy, paste. I move it in here. Then I say submit your CV and portfolio. Okay. I hit enter, then I enter the email address where CV should be submitted to. Maybe this is not going to be bold, so I remove the bold. I can reposition it to fall in the middle of the shape like this next i'm going to add some more flare to it first of all i don't need the outline on this bigger circle so i go over to shape format i choose no outline i'm going to add some circles just draw it here holding down shift to get a perfect circle the shape feel is going to be white shape outline is going to be this yellow and i'll increase the weight maybe this 6 pt will do and i'm going to add some text inside i can easily duplicate this select it go to home copy paste i bring it in here the color is going to be black now i say don't it should be in one line centered I move it in here what I can also do is select the shape behind holding down control key on the keyboard then I go over to shape format and the alignment I make it center and also middle I'll add another circle it's going to be this small I position it right here the shape feel is going to be this and there won't be any outline 
and don't worry about what has overflown outside the canvas from here and here as you can see on the thumbnail here what has overflown is not really going to be part of the design maybe one thing i can do is add a heading here i'll enter important date hit enter meanwhile the title is not going to be bulleted so i just backspace once i select the text box and i move it up a bit let's take a look so this is how it will appear after it's been exported as an image if you want to export your design as an image or if you want to save it as a template so that you'll be able to use it over and over again i have tutorials in the description down below that will show you how you can do any of this in the meantime stick around to watch another poster design idea keep watching and i'll see you in any of the videos